All right, all right. Y'all see the tweet from the number one glazer on Twitter for ReZero, right? Remember the whole, like, the person who hates ReZero the most and the person who glazes the ReZero the most? I think this is the guy. But anyways, we have ReZero is now officially the most hated anime of 2024. That is quite the, you know, metric that we're going on. And I think a lot of the stuff is, you know, my anime list. And I would actually love to read one-star reviews of my anime list for ReZero. Because I think it's going to be so hilarious, man. So, starting off, what do we have? We have ReZero. 1,838 votes. 1 out of 10. 4.4% of people voting it. 1,838 people have all concluded that ReZero is trash. 1 out of 10 anime. Here's the thing, how do you, like, of all the anime I've watched, I think the shittiest score I've given was like a 4 or like a 5. If it's like a 5, that's so fucking bad, right? Mediocre average ones are usually around like 6 point somethings, 5 point somethings, and, you know, at some level of modicum of respect, it becomes like a 7. I cannot fathom what the hell a 1 out of 10 could be, and a show for ReZero, you know that this is just the most disingenuous ratings and one day I would love to read the monkey comments crying and screeching about why ReZero killed their family. That's right, ReZero murdered their pets, took their families, took their loved ones. They're just so mad about ReZero every day. Bleach coming in at 1677 at 5.3%. God damn, okay, okay, well... Bleach is another battle shonen, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, the big three. It makes sense to me that big shows like this will be hated, right? Now, just because something is popular doesn't mean it's good, nor doesn't mean it's bad. But I have noticed that, again, anytime you get bigger and bigger, there's always going to be haters no matter what. And the rule of law, law of large numbers, right? The term 1%. You have 1% out of 100 people, only one person hates it. Scale that up to 1,000, 10 people hate it. 10,000, 100 people hate it. 100,000, 1,000 people hate it. See how this 1% can scale? So you're always gonna have the most delusional, craziest monkeys who hate on something because it's in their DNA to just hate because it's, a, it's, like, a, it's like an NPC response. So Bleach getting hated like that makes sense to me. Solo leveling, not that bad in terms of the percentage, right? 0.4% people have voted as 1 out of 10. 1,562 votes, right? Compared to this and this, that's actually a quite significant gap. So solo leveling is actually not as hated as I thought. Because again, at the end of the day, it's votes. But if this percentage, again, represents like, this is the amount of people that hated it out of, you know, overall the big pie that makes up 100%, that's actually pretty fucking good. Solo leveling came in January. A lot of people were glazing it. And anytime you have something new and popular and people are hyping it up, there is this crowd of people who will always like, uh, they're not part of the hype train. They're not part of that journey. And they feel like they've been left out. They feel like there's like a fear of missing out, but they would rather just hate on it rather than, you know, see what are they doing? Why are people enjoying? Soul leveling is coming back, you know, this coming January. So we'll see exactly how many people were still hating it. But I feel like if soul leveling loses some sort of traction due to, you know, season one, maybe not living, really living up to their expectations, the hate will go down. Because again, people only hate because a lot of the times it's just popular and hating on something will get you more clicks and attention than glazing something. One Piece fan letter, 3% 1 out of 10. That's mind-blowing. Because I hear that One Piece fan letter was the most compelling storytelling of One Piece episode they've seen in a long time. It was a special episode, right? Showing from the perspective of the Marine Ford War, from the perspective of the Marines, right? Seeing the war, tragedy, the consequences of war from, you know, the Marine side as well, right? I think that concept is fucking amazing and it truly shows you like a different feel, vibe of One Piece than usual. I haven't seen it, but from what I've heard of, it's sounding like it's so, so peak, but <laughs> again, one out of 10, it's gotta be trash. Blue Lock, yes, this is hair. <laughs> this should be higher. Yo, why the fuck is Blue Lock only 1,069 votes, bro? More people should be upset about this shit. Now, the episodes are pretty hype. The story is so hyped that the production value, even if it's trash, like, it's, 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 it ain't bad, right? Oh, ooh, it's, 
it hurts me, but um, I'm surprised it's not getting more hate. That's right, PNG lock, slide lock, frame lock, we know what's going on. Uzumaki coming in at number six, and that might be the most fair rating so far. Because I heard that Uzumaki just fell off. The first episode was giving people hope that Junji Ito's work can finally be well animated. And it's not going to be garbage because he's like a legendary author. But for whatever reason, all of his works animated turns to trash. There were so many scheduling conflicts, so many different things happening behind the scenes. I hear it was a conflict of talent, scheduling, resources, budget. The fact that they marketed this anime before it was even completed. And now, because they pulled that card, once they realized that they can't, you know, deliver the quality all throughout the four episodes, they were like, we can't even pull out now because you've fucking marketed and, you know, hype people up. So now, it, it's like, you eat turd sandwich or shit burger. You can either cancel the show and let everyone down or put it out and everyone gets mad, right? Just a shitty situation overall. Unfortunate for Mus Uzumaki. Mushoku Tensei coming in at 1048 and it is not that hated. Because again, look at this percentage number, right? Soul Leveling Example 2. Don't just look at the amount of votes. Look at what percentage lets the votes. That's actually really surprising. I thought a lot more people would hate on Mushoku Tensei. Way more. But here it is. Actually doing much better, right? Less votes than ReZero. But on top of that, the percentage too. It's quite a significant gap. So the MT fandom, rejoice. <laughs> Y'all are eating good. Tensura coming in at a 738 votes. Man, Tensura, such a mid adaptation that I know they can do better. It's just, it's the nature of this season of it mostly being set up for the future arcs with the lack of production value that we've seen in season one and season two that's mid to a lot of people hating on it. A lot of reactor channels also died, not died, but dropped the show because people are like, we don't care about meetings. We don't care about that. I understand the politics and the world building is the focus of Tensura, but there must be a way for the production value to animate these, you know, yapping scenes to make it more engaging, make it more dynamic, but I think it kind of fell short, so I can understand why people would vote like that to me. Power of God. Should be worse, man. TOG did so, TOG got done so fucking dirty, bro. TOG was so hyped up in season one. And even back then, I heard a lot of people were disappointed, but during my journey of building up, you know, marathoning season one until, you know, season two started, it was great. Such a deep, compelling story. People are saying this, this is the one piece of Webtoons, and I could believe that shit. But then season two happened. I can't take this shit seriously. The Answer Studio is not the answer. This is a problem studio, bro. They are not animating any of the fights that led up to the workshop battle, and then we're coping that the workshop battle will be better. And to be fair, Relative to the earlier content of season two, it is better, but it shouldn't be, you know, we our standards should be way higher. It should be so much better. Tower of God got done so fucking dirty. Any sort of hype and momentum with this show has pretty much died down. People treat the show as a joke now. It's just so sad to see what happens. Womp womp. Next up, Kimetsu no Yaiba. That's right, it ain't Demon Slayer. It's Kimetsu no Yaiba. I'm a weeb. 539 votes out of that. Okay. Actually, not that hated, man. Hashira training arc. I thought a lot of people would be upset due to the filler episodes in the middle. The end of Hashira training arc, though. Look, bro, like... This is kind of like... I don't want to say proof, but to me... Once I saw the finale, everything that I felt negative about Hashira training arc went away. Because of how impactful the finale was. That shit alone was like, yep. Peak cinema. Hype. Unga Boonga Slayer's back. I am so fucking thrilled for, you know, the Infinity Castle art. Bro, that shit was peak. Classroom of the only. <laughs> well, you know, it says, uh, Coat, Studio Lurch, Seasons 1 to 3. You know how it is. Light novel readers are always strong, and they are right. The anime cuts out a lot of shit, the pacing is garbage. But, in terms of what the anime has done to attract the anime-only audience, it's a decent watch. It's fun, right? It's just, you know, light novel readers up in arms about their favorite work getting a mid-adaptation, which I agree with you. But, you know, season four is coming. Who knows? The poster picture 
Could be a totally different studio, totally different talent, but a lot of people are already dooming about that one, right? We'll see how that goes. My Hero Academia, 464 votes. Um, I'm not really following My Hero Academia, so I don't really have any context of that. I thought the hate for this show would be higher, but not bad. Oshinoko coming in at 447. Huh. Okay. I thought that Oshinoko might get a lot more hate, but not really. And same with Dan Dan, right? Because Dan Dan is so popular, wide appealing, even more so than ReZero, I thought that it would get more hate. But look at that. Look at the difference of the votes and the percentage. ReZero got like what? Nearly... Oh my god, my math. Four to five times more hate? Why is that? It's just the polarizing nature of Isekais and the main character and different fandoms shitting on each other, right? Dandaran doesn't... Dandaran's just chilling. No one's saying, you know... You know, no one's really dragging Dandaran or comparing it to anything, right? They're just like, this is like a crazy wacko show and we love it. Makes sense to me. Konosuba coming in at 285. Wonder if it's because of the change in studio for Season 3? Uh, I enjoyed it. Maybe the quality wasn't the same? I, I don't remember. The studio kind of changed. One thing that I was upset about was the lack of uh, the ruffian, the mohawk guy. He always had one-line zingers to hype up, you know, Kazuma and the gang. I love them. He's probably my favorite character in Season 1 and 2. He didn't say shit in Season 3, bro. The hell? I blame the new director. We got Delicious in Dungeon, right? Dungeon Meshi. I heard that that was actually really good. I heard that Dungeon Meshi was amazing. The world building was phenomenal. I want to try this again. When Season 2 announcement comes out, just like what we're doing in Apothecary Dies right now, I will time it so that we marathon all of it. I'll brute force it because I feel like it's one of those shows that's just worth watching based on what people say. Also, Frieden is nowhere to be shown, but Frieden kind of did end in the beginning of 2024. I wonder if that matters. The last two is basically MASH and Kaiju 8. Both, you know, battle shonens. Kaiju 8 having more hype and more attention, but not much hate. Just interest in that ReZero, you know, gets the most hate. And why is that? Again, I, I think it has to do with just the toxic fandom rivalry that happens with, you know, Mushoku Tensei and ReZero. A lot of people really, really are up in arms about, you know, this fucking fandom cult war. I wish more people could be just chill and just, you know, treat it like Dan Dan. Let's see some comments. Re-edited to post a One Piece fan letter. This proved that we are on the right side. Hating Bleach, One Piece, Reaser, and Soul Leveling is crazy. Yeah. Because all those shows I think are great. But they're so, so popular. But so is Don Da Don. So is Demon Slayer. But it's not getting the same level of hate. It is wild to me that One Piece fan letter got this much fucking hate, man. Like, there must be so many people that just hate this shit as their entire personality. The fact that Tower of God Season 2 and Uzumaki is not at the top goes to show that these votes were given by Bleach and ReZero haters. Exactly. People hate because it's popular to hate. Tower of God, Blue Lock, Uzumaki, bro. That shit deserves a way less, you know, rating. It deserves way... I don't want to say it deserves hate, but... It's crazy that, like, it's not getting that much. Because why? Because nobody cares if you hate on Uzumaki or Tower of God online. Right? Because it's not popular. Ain't nobody talking about it. There's some, you know, fails in here and there that people meme about, but for the most part, like, what's the point of rage baiting if you're not rage baiting something popular? That's the mindset of these NPCs online who just, you know, cloud chase. Uh, hated by many, defeated. <laughs> hated by many, defeated by none. It's funny how those are mostly highly rated ones from the year, and then there's Blue Lock. Blue Lock should be more, you know, more. Those are just re people review bombing. Yeah. Culture wars, fandoms, just, you know, review bombing. This list is kind of wrong as well. There's Remost. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are fucking mad about Remonster too. If you haven't watched that anime, like the whole. <sighs> it's like a goblin isekai, and you go around, you know, subjugating women and. <laughs> Ooh, yikes, yikes. <laughs> now, scores Lamau, who cares about that? Uh, you did enough to comment this and get some likes. Clearly, you do. Now, who is the most liked anime of 2024? I don't know. Eso significa. Que esta siendo buena temporada. What does that mean? This means... Wait, wait, wait. This means it's being a good season. Uh, sure. Yeah, it means it's a popular good season and more people are out of the woodchest to hate. Copium anime list, dubbed by Go. Where's Ninja Kamui? 
Oshinoko could have taken number one spot in light of Akasaka's action of mending the manga in a whimper. Uh, but this is anime shit, not the manga. Even Uzumaki with false advertising as anime of the year and deceiving the trailer got less 1 out of 10 votes. Both the numbers of votes percentage of Reezer was hated by passion. Absolutely agree. Hating only happens when it's popular to do so, not because it deserves it. Ain't no way it's hated more than Blue Lock. Yup. Wait, what are you talking about? Your list is a trash and shit? <laughs> this is from my anime list. Okeanix is posting a picture compiled of one star ratings. I understand that you have room temperature IQ and it's hard for you to think for more than three seconds. Okay, but understand that this is not him hating on these shows. <sighs> yeah, I, I, this, is, this is why we need to ban kids from the internet, man. Like, what the fuck? People hate Tower of God Season 2 because Core 1 have mid and current Core 2 have decent animation. I'd still say it's both fucking mid. It's slightly better. Even Core 1 mid and Core 2 decent animation is better in Blue Lock Season 2. No, I would not say that. I think Blue Lock, even if it's PNG, even if Tower of God's moving, it's still like more fun to watch than Tower of God. Maybe it's just a difference of storytelling. Adaptation wise, better in Season 1 and Class of the Elite, Season 1, Season 3, aka decent mid. Yeah, I do agree with this. A lot of people have really um, biased takes because they're a super light novel, you know, elitist that wants Coach to do better. And I agree, Coach should be better. But the anime, for what it served for the anime only audience, I think it achieved its goal. It was pretty relatively popular. And it's, it's decent mid. People hate that anime I got reincarnated as a slime season 3 because of the slow world building story with meeting lore. Agreed. But it's like the slow world building and the meeting lore can be exciting and fun if you know how to do these meeting situations better, right? Just because like Bakemonogatari or whatever other shows that does about a lot of yapping, do you think people just not watch it because it's just yapping and talking? No! There's a way to do this shit dynamically. There's a way to do this shit in a more engaging, fun way, but 8-Bit Studio just can't really do that. But that's pretty much it. This is the roster of the most re you know, hated anime, and you know, it is crazy to me that... It's not crazy, actually. It makes a lot of sense. The end of the day is just passionate hate watchers who do nothing but have their identity aligned with a fandom or a community. And as soon as something else is popping off, you must wage war because you are an insecure monkey that's accomplished nothing where your entire existence is dependent on bandwagoning off of popular established platforms. That's it from me. Goodbye.